Have you ever grabbed one of those two-prong to three-prong adapters to solve an outlet problem? If we have a three-prong plug like this, and you want to plug this in, this prong is actually for a ground. And there's a chance that your device needs to have a ground, especially if it's got a metal case. This is where it's handy to have one of these devices that has two prongs on here, and it's got the three prongs over here. Just plug that right in there. Problem solved, right? Wait a minute, two prongs, three prongs over here? That's not right. I received this from a seller on Amazon, decided to test it and open it up to find out what's going on inside. It has two prongs here. These are the smaller width of prong, you know, so this could go actually either direction. So if, if you're not aware, in the United States, the way it works is you get a smaller one, which is the hot wire, and get a larger one, which is the neutral. This one will be the ground. So this plug can go into a socket in either orientation. So either one of these pins could be hot. Here's why it's important to have the right polarity on, on a plug like this. If you have any device which has a switch on it, that switch will be switched using the positive terminal. Otherwise, when the switch is off, the device actually may still have power. So uh, it's better if your terminals are correct so that you're switching the actual hot wire. Here's an old outlet that has different size slots for the prongs. Here's an extension that has different size prongs on it. So you can put this in only one direction. If you try and put it in the wrong direction, it doesn't go. We actually have two issues with this plug board. One is the polarity and the second one is a protective ground. I'm going to plug this in in one orientation and then I'm going to plug it into another orientation. So you see that that's going that direction. So we have a red light and a green light. I don't know what they mean. There's no label on these. So this should be able to tell us which is the hot wire. I'm going to put this in the neutral. Not seeing anything there. Put this into the, the hot. And we're, getting, and we're getting a signal there. Now let me switch it around so it's the other way. So obviously we, want, we don't want the hot wire to be switched by when you change the polarity of the plug that you put into the wall. So here we go. Put this in here. Turning the plug around actually switches the polarity at the board. So there's no internal switching that makes sure that the smaller connector is going to be the hot wire. Let's see what's going on inside this thing. Just so you can see, this is not plugged in. Okay, all right, so we've got the cover loose. We have the wires coming in, one goes to there, one goes to here. So what happens underneath this? So it looks like it goes to the switch. This whatever is coming in here is going to that. There are no electronics here. This is just a switch. There's some electronics there to turn on the LEDs. I don't know why it's got a red and, and a green. One goes to there, one goes to there. Where is the surge protection? I just took this a step further and I was curious what the ground connection was connected to. So when you put a three prong plug into here, that's not grounded, uh, what are you connecting to? So in this case, when you open this up and take a look, this, this bus here, we call this an electrical bus, is connected to absolutely nothing. The only thing it's connected to is are other, uh, other connections if you have more than one connection. There is no surge protection and the ground wire is not a ground wire at all. If you use one of these things, you have to use it with caution. So let's talk about a solution. I received this free in exchange for a review on Amazon and I gave it the lowest possible rating. This is a potential hazard. You could get electrocuted because of this or it could be a, a potential fire hazard. If you have outlets like this and it's your property, the best solution is to change these to modern three pin outlets. If you cannot do that, you don't own the property, then be aware that a lot of devices have these type of pins, something like this, designed this way because it wants to prevent you from plugging this in with the hot wire on the other pin. And some devices like this come with three pins. If you're taking away that ground pin, then you are bypassing that safety feature of that plug. In both cases, this will potentially reverse the polarity and it takes away 
the ground pin. A lot of devices, such as your phone chargers, they may have this kind of pin, in which case that you don't, you don't really need a board like this that has something with, uh, with the looks of having a ground pin. If you must get something like this, there are better quality ones which have some certification, either UL, CSA, or, or whatever is, is uh, applicable in your area. And also, it would be good if they had some, some kind of surge protection, something which would protect you in the event of something shorting out. In this case, this wire goes directly into the bus after the switch. There is no safety feature. There may be something on this part, which is kind of a phone charger type area, but if something looks too cheap, then there's probably a reason for it. Uh, hopefully this, this can prevent somebody from doing something that could, could potentially be a big problem. If you found this useful, give me the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel down below if you haven't already, and look forward to seeing you next time.